Good day, everyone. So great to be back with you for another West Coast Shaving Daily Shave. My name is Eric, and I'm excited to be bringing you another review of this stuff. Fine Accoutrements 21st Century Shaving Soap. So if you caught my last review last week, it was my initial review, my initial impressions of this soap base. There's a lot more details, information, and backstory about a lot of different things in that video. So if you stumbled across, across this video and you haven't watched the previous video, I recommend you watch that one first. Get all the information that you need about the soap base and then come and watch this one. If you don't need all this information, then we just hope you enjoy this video. Now, this review is going to be specifically about the Aqua Marine fragrance. Now, this is a collaboration between Fine Accoutrements and West Coast Shavings, as you can see on the box. And this collaboration started last year in the original soap base with those brand new splash bottles. Now, what I didn't get to point out last time is this packaging. Now, I did on the actual soap tub. I'll do it again this time but this is the actual box package that it comes in. It's a little bit bigger. It's got the new 21st century logo there, and it's got all the information about fine on all the different sides. I like how it talks about it's made in Italy. It's got the colors of the Italian flag there and everything else that you would expect to have on packaging. Now, what I remarked about last time was just how nice the presentation is. As you can see, the soap is already preloaded. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Really nice. I like the side labeling. I like the side. And I'm really happy about this specific review and this specific go around with the soap base because the last time the actual soap base deceived me a little bit. It's a little bit deceptive when you look at it because it looks like a crope. It has like that glistening feature. It looks like a cream. It looks like you can just run your finger right through and there's gonna be no issue. But when I actually pulled the piece off to apply to my face and spread it, what I actually found out is the soap is a lot more solidified than I thought. So this time around, I went with a bigger brush longer brush, I have more stout brush for me to hold because I have big hands and I actually load it directly from the tub. So we'll see if that produces a different result. Now, what I want to point out about Aquamarine, it is an aquatic scent. I rather enjoy aquatic scents. They're one of my favorites. And this is what West Coast Shaving Site says. Now, we did have some comments surface during the last video or from the last video. Now, this is what I want to tell you. It's a traditional shaving soap. It's a premium tallow veggie hybrid base. And a couple of folks took issue with that. Now, I think it alludes to the fact that there are some attributes of a vegan soap that are present in this tallow base. And I understand that by injecting tallow, it ceases to be a vegan formulation. And I don't think this is what this is trying to imply at all. I think there's a hybrid of both components, of both ingredients, of both properties present in this soap base. I think that's what it's alluding to. So again, I didn't make this up. It's just, it's on fine site. It's also on West Coast shaving site. Now, this Aquamarine invokes the carefree feeling of relaxing seaside under a warm sun accompanied only by the rhythmic sound of the surf. I think that's pretty cool. So it's supposed to be a nice aquatic reminiscent of a summer day type scent, which I enjoy. These are the actual notes, lemon, sweet orange, rosemary, algae, oak moss, driftwood, amber, and musk. So there you have it folks. So let's get down to the shave. I've got my West Coast shaving brush preloaded. This is gonna be an all West Coast shaving product review. Again, I'm gonna focus mostly on the scent and not on all the details I went over in the previous video. So if you need those, again, go back to that video and get those details. Because I certainly don't wanna be redundant in this video. Now I had Aquamarine in the old base and it is an amazing scent. If you're into aquatic fragrances, this will be right up your alley. And I'm excited really to see, since I loaded from the tub, now this is a softer soap base, but since I loaded from the tub, and I think I got a lot more product there in the actual synthetic fibers, I'm expecting that it's going to yield better results. So let's see what happens. Now what's nice about this is there's a lot of citric fragrance notes that often make up an aquatic fragrance. And I think that's pretty interesting. And as I apply this, there is an aquatic tone to it, but there's a lot of citrus undertones. And you read the list of scent notes or listen to the ones I read off. And there are a lot of citric tones in there. I'm excited to be revisiting this base. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to go back and recollect some of these soaps. I really don't know. What I used to do, if you saw some of my older reviews, 
I used to get those more expensive tubs and press those pucks into those tubs so I could load with the brush. I don't like a loose puck. I don't like the size of those older pucks. They did produce really good lathers though. And it was reminiscent of that tobacco formula, which I remarked about in the previous video. And a lot of folks equated it with that formulation and thought they were the same exact thing. So if you're curious about those details, go back to that video and I talk a lot about that. But this soap base is definitely a different experience altogether. And there is something very sophisticated and elegant about it. Now, it, to me, it's not quite as dense as the previous base. It just doesn't appear to be. But I gotta tell you, as I kind of reflected on the shave and I was kind of going over it in my mind again, it was a very late shave and so I was determined on this shave to shave at a much more reasonable time. I mean, it was really late that night that I produced that video. But I remember just reflecting on the fact that it was a pretty remarkable shave. The face feel, the post shave, in fact, in this shave, I'm not gonna apply any post shave products just to kind of test it out. But the actual base itself is quite remarkable. It's just different. So as you approach this soap base, expect a different type of a lather, but don't expect less quality. That's the best way I can describe this to you. And as I'm applying it now with my brush, I've got a different brush. I loaded it directly from the tub and I feel like it's a lot creamier. So now I'm gonna add some water. I'm actually gonna add a ton of water. Let's see how this soap handles it. I feel like this is what I should have done the first time. Yeah, to me, it's a lot creamier than when I just applied it to my face. When you apply it to your face and just kind of smear it around, to me, you kind of miss those particles of product, that completeness of product. When you're swirling it around on the actual tub of soap with your bristles, I feel like you collect a lot more of the soap properties into the actual bristles and it just makes for a better lather altogether. And I just, for whatever reason, I felt like I didn't have enough soap last time. But I'm feeling like, just based on the way my face feels right now and what I'm seeing right in front of me, you can see it all together. It's actually a lot creamier. Now, is it as dense as the previous base? I don't think so. But I didn't have any issues with the shave as far as protection, as far as cushion, as far as slickness. All of those properties were present. And I think this is a soap base that Fine is very proud of. It sounds like they spent some good quality time sourcing it. They were kind of put in a, a pickle and in a quandary of sorts with their previous soap maker, pretty much just shutting down their operation altogether. Yeah, folks, this stuff is a lot thicker than it was the last time. That's user error. Big time. I should have loaded from the tub. I'm also putting a tremendous amount of water into this. Wow, this stuff is thick. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Add a little bit more. and then paint some in. So another attribute that is surfacing during this shave is its thirst level. This soap can take a lot of water. I just added a ton of water, not just now, but my previous two applications as well. Wow. Look how creamy that is. That is amazing. Okay. So now I'm just gonna paint some in. I'm grateful for an opportunity to do a redo. I really 
want to get that hydration flowing in there. Excellent, excellent. Look at that. To me, far better results than I got the first time, and that's because I applied the brush directly to the soap. As opposed to applying the soap to my face first and then working off of that smear, which clearly I didn't get enough product. Look at that, folks. I'm happy with that. That is good stuff. Very, very nice results. And I am going to stay committed to my comment that this is a different type of base. It is a different type of production altogether. When you actually form it on your face and go through the application process and get the soap to where it needs to be, it's creamy, it is cushiony, it is protective. I remember just having a really stellar shave. I remember being late thinking, this is a much better shave than I thought it was going to be. And I remember thinking this is more of a croak. It's going to be a little bit more foamy. And those are kind of the results it produced in the beginning. But now as I'm going back to it and reapplying it, this is actually going to be a much thicker and creamier soap. So let's take a look. I've got my West Coast shaving. This is my Hollywood Palm Handle Charcoal Goods West Coast Shaving Collaboration. Like I said, all products are going to be West Coast Shaving today. And this head is equivalent to a Charcoal Goods Level 1. Now, something else I'm going to remark on. That I'm not going to go too deep into today. The blade I have in here is the brand new pole silver blade. That's right, the brand new pole silver blade. Now, I've got all the details on what has transpired with pole silver, where they're going and how you can acquire them. but I'll talk about that in another video because that's a long explanation. But these new pulse overs, folks, I like them better than the old ones. It's actually almost the perfect blade, in my opinion. Now, I know pulse over had a lot of fans and I was a big one, as you know, but I gotta tell you, these ones are even better. I've got a hundred of them so far and I'm gonna get some more. These are amazing, amazing blades. I've got a couple days growth, nothing too dramatic. The cushion on this soap is remarkable. The face feel, that was something I remember I wanted to talk about more during the last shave. The face feel on this is spectacular. Just amazing. I remember it just feeling rejuvenated. I felt real, even for the time of night that it was, I remember just like, gosh, my face feels good. I just had that satisfying feeling at the end of the shave. Cause there are some shaves, especially if I'm doing it daily. If I'm gonna shave daily, and oftentimes I do, I've gotta actually use the right product. It's gotta be the right razor head. It's gotta be the right soap base, the right brush. It's gotta, all the elements have to kind of come together for me. Otherwise, it just makes for an abrasive shave. But this is a spectacular shave. I'm really, really glad I loaded from the tub. So if you get one of these soap tubs, if you get this new base, whatever scent you decide to pick up, make sure that you load directly from the tub and don't pull it off the top. It is a softer soap base. Even as I'm touching it now, it's very easily pliable. It's not as soft as a crope, it's not. It looks like it's a crope when you open it up, but it's not. Definitely load from the tub, much better experience. And quite frankly, the last one wasn't that bad. It's just that I feel this has yielded better results. 
I'm not much of a bowl latherer, even though some guys are. And bowl lathering can produce really great results because you can put as much product in there as you want. You can add product, add water, and just build it to your desired amount. But when you do it the way I did it last time, where I just took like a fingertips worth, spread it around, thought I could really stretch it, that's really not the way to go with these soaps. This is much better. There it is, you can see all the product that's there. Look how creamy and glistening that soap base is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is a very fancy soap base. I like it a lot. I've never used those extra soaps. I imagine they're like this. I know a lot of people love those soaps. I don't know cost associated with them. I don't know how easy they are to get your hands on, but this is a very, very elegant shaving experience. And as I'm doing this the second time around, I'm not a proponent, not a proponent of the price point. However, I'm understanding it a little bit more, that $24 price point, that baseline there. I'm understanding why it's there. Now, again, I personally, I don't like to pay more than 18 bucks for a soap. 18 or less is kind of my wheelhouse. So I'm not defending it. I'm recording a YouTube video. So as, sorry, my wife sometimes cracks up at how overzealous I get about this stuff. But again, as I looked at the price point, it is 24 bucks, that is steep. So I'm not at all defending that. I'm not saying, hey, yeah, soap should get to that level, but I'm just saying that I understand it a lot more now that I'm using it again. It is a premium quality soap base, and this was very, I can tell they went through a lot of R&D before they decided on a soap maker. Now what happens is, I often go live on Facebook and I'm often chatting it up and making jokes and just you know doing straight talk with my buddies while I'm shaving. And my wife will come in and she sees me doing that all the time. So she came in right now and she thought I was trying to be super serious with the guys or something and was just laughing at me. She had no idea I was recording a YouTube video. Which she's used to me doing that. So she probably thought it was on Facebook. So kudos to fine. And I gotta tell you, that last review I did, I felt like, yeah, I got all the details I wanted to get into that review. However, I just felt like there were some missing elements and I couldn't figure out what they were. And I remember talking to Abraham with West Coast Shaving afterwards and he had made some suggestions with this soap base. He often has all the details about them before they actually get their hands on the product. And he did want me to load from the tub. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna load from the tub. And I'm so glad I did. So, to reiterate, I'm not advocating for a $24 price point for soaps. I really, I really, it's kind of getting there for me where, you know, would I spend this much for these types of soaps? I don't know. They're great soap. This is a wonderful product. If I loved it, yeah, I would buy it. I do really like this a lot. The thing is I've had all the fine soap. And I don't know if I'm gonna be recollecting them or not, but I really do enjoy all the modifications that Fine has made to their line. And I'm very impressed, very, very impressed. This definitely will play in that premium arena. Think of any soap base that plays up there. Singari Man, Holy Cow, Bear Stern Man. I mean, take your pick. It's going to play in that arena. It deserves to be there. It's a qualifier. And now, whether or not you're going to pay 24 bucks or pay 20, I think folks will pay it. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but yeah, I know that's a touchy subject and you guys know I wanna be as genuine as possible. If it's something I absolutely love, oftentimes I'll grin and bear it. And I think a lot of us do that. 
but I prefer to keep myself about 18 bucks or less for a soap. Because I have so many, and because it's going to be probably twice a year that I'll actually use the soap, getting a little better with that, but still. All right, folks, I'm gonna forego my against the grain and just kind of go with the cleanup pass. So if you're into aquatic scents, this is aquatic in the purest form. It really is. And it's a very citrusy aquatic scent. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Just depends on what your preference is. Fine is known for their since they did remove green vetiver, they did remove fresh vetiver, which was one of my favorites. They removed clean in the past, which I lamented over and over about. And they did introduce latigo or latigo, depending on how you pronounce that. I always call it latigo, but I think it might be latigo. And they introduced the splash first. And when the space came out, they have an accompanying soap for it. i have to find out later what it is I said that made my wife explode with laughter. But she was dying over there a second ago, so I had to figure out what I said. Super slick, very creamy, very protective. No issues. And a good amount of residual slickness. So whether the soap should be 24 bucks or not, is not up for me to say, or up to me to say. However, based on the soaps that I know are in that price range, this meets all the metrics. Very nice, very, very nice shave. My face feels great. Now there are a lot of skin nourishing properties from what I read in this soap base. And I think that was kind of Fine's goal in creating this soap. I think they knew that their older base was well received. I know there were some things that needed to be tweaked and I think they heard the community and they made those modifications and adjustments. But Fine had specific metrics in mind and they met them all. What I also try to do too sometimes is just dab my face as opposed to just wiping it completely dry. I'm always prepping my face for an aftershave, but I'm not gonna do one today. But this is great. My face is almost like glistening. So this is premium personified, folks. It's a great base altogether. And for everything that Fine needed to do, I'm impressed with what they've done. So this was the Aqua Marine Scent, West Coast Shaving collaboration. Now this came out about a year ago. West Coast Shaving and Fine decided to collab on this. What I like about West Coast Shaving too is they seem to really go out and source those relationships. They seem to go out and identify those artisans that are really going to bring premium product to their customer base. And they create these collaborations. They've done one with Barrister Man. They've done one with Sigari Man. They've done one with Fine Nail. Pretty impressive. I like this. I, I Again, I use this in the older base. I had the splash. I had the soap. It's a great fragrance. And I'm tempted, folks. As I reuse this again, I'm tempted to get this again. I really am. I mean... It's a great scent. I really, really am tempted to reacquire this. Um, yeah, really glad that I went after the soap again. Really glad that I went for a second go on this and did things differently and got a much better result. So folks, I hope that gave you some more information. Hope that gave you some more background on the soap. Again, go to the other video if you want all the information about how this soap came to be. But I hope that the lather experience, the shaving experience, was a little bit more in depth than it was the previous time. 
because I got a spectacular, now I didn't get a better shave this time than I did last time, but I think I produced a better lather, definitely low directly from the tub. So thank you folks for listening to me go through the details of this soap. If you love Aquatic Sense, Aquamarine is amazing. I have a feeling this one in American Blend probably gonna sell out first. I have a feeling, that's my guess, that's my wager. So thank you folks, until next time, God bless you.